morning guys and girls and yes it's the 30th of june and we haven't done an update in quite some time i just want to give you a reason for that we only do updates if there are sars or fish around guys i'm not gonna do videos every day and tell you there's nothing happening um, so as soon as a video comes up from us it means there's either something happening or a good chance of something happening so yes um it is the the 30th of june uh, thursday and a small net about 20 crates were netted by jace this morning at Winkle spray tony also dropped a net but missed but there's several pockets of sardines coming past the whole time at Winkle spray area that whole area so a good chance there'll be a bit of action today and also tomorrow um, so if you're in the area you can pop in Winkle spray um, that whole area there warners uh, that should be a good area where there will be some action happening. Now another topic guys is the E. coli. Everyone warning people not to eat the sardines because of E. coli. Now um, Jace has done some really um, in detail pieces on his Facebook if you're interested in going to read that. That came from people or health experts as well. There's always E. coli in our water in South Africa and even in our food most cases. But on the fish, it's unlikely, just don't eat it raw. I mean, no one's gonna eat sardines raw. They get properly cooked, they get deep fried, they get masala, they get everything. Okay, so a very, very small chance. Better chance if you've got broken skin or an injury on your hand or your feet and you're in the seawater close to an estuary where that water's coming down with high levels of E. coli. So, guys, not from eating sardines, that's uh, ridiculous. I know the newspaper data article or front page be careful of eating the sardines or whatever the article stated. That's incorrect. Uh, that's completely incorrect. Don't eat them raw. Don't jump into the water like a wild animal and start chowing them in the waves. That's what it means. If you eat them normally, you cook your meat as with the same with your red meat, your pork, your chicken, anything you buy in the shops these days, you should uh, be cooking it well because of the chance if E. coli and uh, E. coli, I don't even know how to pronounce it might be in the food so keep that in mind so i also want to use this opportunity to make sure or to to thank everyone that subscribed to our channel and tell you to make sure that you subscribe if we do updates if you're interested in the sardines or any actions related to the sardine run make sure you subscribe to the channel but make sure you hit that bell notification button and you'll receive the updates as we go live or as we put a video out so just to recap winkle spray it's the area to go today that whole area that's where they've netted and i also want to thank daiwa jakita dotsiorozene alpha omega and chin to make this possible to keep on bringing guys update when things happen and like i said in the beginning guys we're not just going to do videos um for the sake of doing videos we do it when there's something to to share with you guys now the reason we haven't seen a lot of sardines this week is the ground swell we had an exceptional ground swell and that's not good for fishing in general for the sardines as well as fishing in general um it puts the fish off and we don't get inshore or even shore fishing good shore fishing at all so that's the main reason we didn't see much this week but further on it looks quite nice and i think even tomorrow it's, it looks like it's subsiding there's a little bit of a ground swell this morning but much better than what it was uh, earlier this week so yeah guys be safe out there and um, be responsible clean up where you fish and do things and like i said winkle spray the area and I'll chat to you guys soon. Remember to subscribe. Morning guys. So we're at Winklesprit Beach this morning. Team V's just dropped a net. It's a very, very deep shot. I can't confirm if there's fish in the net is yet, uh, but we've just dropped. And about 100 meters north of us, uh, Team Moonlight dropped as well. So most of the action here at Winklesprit Beach this morning.